Christmas must be what? 10 weeks away or so? So are your thoughts turning to gold spray paint? Now, if you love everything craft, flower arranging, with a bit of charity shop shopping thrown in as well, you ought to consider subscribing to my channel. All you need to do is tap the big red button that says subscribe, and that means that next time you open the YouTube app on your phone, your laptop or your computer, one of my videos will be waiting for you. I've been doing a little bit of shopping for gold paint so that I can test out the paints so that you don't need to waste any money. What do you think is going to get my gold star award from the selection of paints that I've bought online? The first one is a Paint Factory Shimmer Metallic Gold Paint. The second one I found in my craft drawer, it says Montana Gold, but I've lost the lid to the top. The third one's out of my craft drawer as well. This is the Oasis spray paint, specially formulated to use on dried and fresh flowers. My fourth buy is Gold Leaf by Plastic Oat. And my fifth and final can of spray paint is the very jazzy Rust-Oleum Metallic with the brilliant finish. So if you are looking for a lovely, sharp, bright gold to spray your poppy seed heads, your pine cones, or perhaps like me, your hydrangeas, I've got you covered. So don't waste your money. Have a look and see how I get on with my five spray paints and decide which paint you're going to award your gold star to. I've decided to set up my spray paint experiment factory outside on my patio table. Wherever you decide to use your spray paints, always make sure you use a well, well ventilated room. Ideally, being outside isn't always the best because as even if it's the slightest, lightest breeze, you'll find that your spray paint sprays off into the distance, as you can see here. For my first batch of painting, I'm using the Shimmer Metallic Spray Paint from the paint factory, I gave it a really good shake off camera. And the reason why I've got my piece of tissue paper with me is I didn't have any rubber gloves to hand. So the idea is that I pick up my plant material and use that piece of tissue paper to protect my hands. So my aim here is to give a light coat of paint to both the hydrangea head and my pine cone and then see what the coverage looks like. So paint number one is giving me a lovely bright finish. You'll have to let me know in the comments which paint you think I'm going to award my final gold star to. Next up it's that can of spray paint from my stash, the one where I'd lost the lid. It's called Montana Gold. And as you can see it's white paint. I rather like the way it turns out though, particularly on that pine cone. Next I'm using the Oasis spray in the colour Brilliant Gold. And then it's the plastic coat paint in Gold Leaf. And finally it's the Rust-Oleum metallic paint. It's called Bright Gold is marked brilliant finish. Painting finished, now it's time to confer with the jury and to see which of my five paints is going to get the Gold Star Award. Of course this is down to personal preference. What colour paint are you actually looking for? In the past, sometimes I have been disappointed with the paint I've chosen and rather than coming out as a nice bright sharp gold, it's got more of a, a muddy, dirty, sort of bronzy colour instead. I was quite pleased with the performance of the paint factory paint in the shimmer metallic, but of course the Montana gold paint wasn't gold at all. It was white paint and I remember now I bought it when I did the chinoiserie crafts and used it to cover the little tea tray that I put the decoupage paper on. So I'll make sure I leave a link to that in the description underneath this video. The Brilliant Gold from Oasis has performed really well. 
I'm slightly disappointed by the gold leaf paint from Plasticoat. I think it looks good on the pine cone, but it appears a little bit watery on the hydrangea head, almost as if it's too thin to see through. So I'm just not quite sure whether perhaps this is the right paint for plant material. The can does say for interior and exterior use. And I think you'll agree that the Rustoleum metallic in the brilliant finish has indeed given a brilliant sparkly finish. Of course it's hard to compare one at a time, so let's have a little look down the line and give me a shout when you have come across the paint that you think deserves to win my Gold Star Award. Are you finding that white paint distracting? Well, let's whip that out of the lineup and see what the four true golds look like. What do you think? What are you leaning towards? From right to left is the Paint Factory Shimmer Metallic, the Oasis Brilliant Gold, Plastic Coat Gold Leaf, and the Rustoleum Bright Gold, the Brilliant Finish. I'm going to take out the Plastic Coat Gold Leaf. I don't think it gave very good coverage on my hydrangea. And then for me, the Rustoleum and the Oasis spray paint are quite similar. What do you think? Do you have a preference for either or? And then how about the Shimmering Metallic from Paint Factory? Perhaps looking at the pine cones might help you make up your mind. So again, in the same order, the Paint Factory Shimmering Metallic the Oasis in the Brilliant Gold, the Plastic Coat Gold Leaf, good coverage there, and then the Rustoleum Brilliant Finish in the colour Bright Gold. I do think the Oasis, the Plastic Coat and the Rustoleum have come out with a very similar colour on the pine cones. My eye is drawn again back to the Shimmering Metallic from the Paint Factory. I think that's my Gold Star winner. But before we jump to any firm conclusions, have you seen how small the can of the um, Paint Factory Shimmer Metallic is? It's only got 200 millilitres of paint in it. And all the other paints have got 400. So perhaps it might be better value for money to buy a bigger can of spray paint. Have a guess in the comments which was the most expensive paint and which was the cheapest. And the winner for me was the Paint Factory Shimmer Metallic Spray Paint in Gold. If you're interested in sourcing some of your own spray paint, I'll leave the details of the five paints I selected to test in the notes underneath this video. But just be warned, this can is 200 millimetres compared to the rest, which are 400. So you're going to have to do a little bit of totting up to see whether it's worth spending your money on this small can or whether your money would be best spent on a can that's twice the size. If you've got some spray paint recommendations, I would love to hear them. And if you're a member of my Facebook group, why don't you pop up the details in the group and share your experience of gold spray paint with everybody else in the group. And if you're not yet a member of my free Facebook group, you'll find a link to Flower Start World in the show notes underneath this video. And talking about joining things, have you thought about taking out a subscription to my YouTube channel and becoming a YouTube member? The advantage of becoming a member of my YouTube group is that you get access to my free monthly Zoom flower class. And after the club's finished, I always post a video in the private section of my YouTube channel. Well, that's all for me for now. I hope you're enjoying your Christmas preparations and I'll see you again next time.